in whenever you're ready. Okay. Yeah, you can just walk in. The first time I got a modeling uh, paycheck was when I started modeling in Chicago. My very first job was a bra ad for Marshall Fields. It was a two hour shoot, and when you did underwear, you got double time. So I think my first check was like for $150. And unfortunately, the ad came out and was plastered all over my high school. But I was like, hey, I made 150 bucks, so whatever. <laughs> first time I felt I could say no on set, I started saying no pretty early on, but maybe not with conviction. One of the times was for British Vogue. I was in a steam bath, and they had the door closed, and they were shooting outside the steam bath. And at one point, I was like overheating, and I was like, can I get out? I remember the photographer went, and he didn't let me out. I finally passed out, and then they dragged me out. So on that same shoot, there was like a, wa a rock wall, and on one side there was a big ledge, and they wanted me to stand on it or something. And I was like, oh shit, how am I gonna get out of this one? And I said, can you just show me how to do it? And, and then he changed it to that. I was just like lying down on it, which was much safer. So that was a good lesson for me. Approach people the right way, like, you know, I'm sorry, I just don't feel comfortable doing this. I've, I never found that anyone really um, tried to force me to do something I wasn't comfortable with. I don't remember the first time I walked the runway, but I think one of the first times was a show for Diane von Furstenberg in New York. The reason I remember it is because I did not like the dress I was wearing, and it's so hard to get down a runway when you don't feel good in what you're wearing. The first time I met George Michael, gosh, I don't know for sure. The first time that made an impression on me was when we shot the Freedom 90 video and George came just to check everything out and just being part of that and David Fincher directing and even to this day, like that song comes on, it just takes me right back to that bathtub. The first time my mole was retouched off was on the cover of British Vogue. I think David Bailey shot it. Yeah, there I was with no mole and I, it, it was weird because as much as I hated my mole growing up and I wanted to have it removed, it was like when someone else removed it, I was like, excuse me. And then shortly after that, I did a cover for American Vogue and they left it on and I felt like once American Vogue left it on, the, the question was settled. It was like, okay, it's she's the model that has you know the beauty mark. So, well, my sisters called it. They said if it's on this side, it's a beauty mark, and if that's on this side, it's an ugly mark. <laughs> you know how sisters are. The first time I heard myself described as a supermodel was really no, not so much about me. It was just that term supermodel. I was like, what the heck does that mean? You know, I pictured us like going into phone booths and changing into our supermodel costumes. All of a sudden there was this group where even people who didn't follow fashion knew your name. I think the first time that I met Gianni Versace was the first time I shot their campaign for them. Because I remember being so excited. I was on vacation in Mexico, like with my boyfriend at the time, and my agent called and they're like, you have to come back to New York. See you later, boyfriend. I'm going to New York. Being on that shoot with Gianni and Donatella and Avedon, even then, even in the middle of it, you knew it was a pretty major moment. The first time I went on a date with my husband, I don't actually remember the first date that I had with Randy. I remember the first night I met him, which we met the night before a mutual friend's wedding. And Randy had just opened his first bar in New York, the Whiskey at the Paramount Hotel. And like kind of everyone who was going to the wedding went to his bar the night before. And then the next night we were at the wedding and then we had fun. <laughs> time I saw Kaya walk down the runway was in New York. It was her first show season. I would have loved to go to every show and be like the proud mom sitting in the front row, but I think she really wanted to establish herself and her own relationships with people. But she let us come to one show in each in each market. So the first one was Marc Jacobs and I was there with my husband. It was like so cute. 